I ended up, after I got out of the Marine Corps, uh, I ended up getting a teaching job at Fallbrook High School, and I coached the sports of uh, football, and I coached the sport of track and field. And of course, during that realm, we did the uh, weightlifting. We did the Olympic lifts to get our athletes better in, uh, in, uh, uh, in football and better in uh, track and field. During that time, that was in 1975, at that time, we, uh, you know, we hadn't taken up the sport of weightlifting as far as competition was concerned at, yet. This gym was actually developed because of Rancho Buena Vista High School. My, uh, uh, my first year at Rancho, we developed a uh, weight room that was about 2,200 square feet and had three platforms. And it was, uh, at that time, it was an Olympic weightlifting paradise. And uh, I found myself, um, you know, spending all the time at school. And uh, so Mrs. Bergner didn't like that. And uh, so she said, well, why don't you just build a gym in the garage? So Mike's gym started out with one platform. Um, I had, uh, you know, went out and bought some bars and bumpers and, uh, you know, put them in here. And uh, I found initially that you know, I'd go to school and we'd coach at school and then I'd come home and half the student body in the weight room uh, that was at, at Rancho Buena Vista would come to Mike's gym and train after school. So initially I didn't have enough equipment, uh, but I was fortunate enough to be known in the, in the sport of weightlifting and, and uh, was asked to speak at clinics and uh, any amount of money that I made through uh, coaching or made through speaking, I put back in the gym. And so, uh, you know, the initial aspect of not having enough equipment was taken care of within a, within a year's time. You know, and now we have, you know, I have four platforms and, you know, we have everything we need to run a great, a great gym.